Okay, to transform Swindle into his alt mode, the first thing, as always, first thing, remove all accessories. So untab his shoulder cannon, untab his rocket gun, untab the uh, parts forming tire on the back. And now this is what we have to work with. So let's bring this up a little bit because the first thing we want to knock his head back 90 degrees. And then the arms, you want to rotate them to the back 180. And then you could lift up the arms 90 degrees. And here, bring down the arm 90 degrees so you could fold in the hand. Once you do, lift it up all the way, bring this down, tap it in, and push in the arm. Same thing on this side, bring down the arm 90 degrees, fold in the hand, bring it up all the way, bring this down, tap it in, and now this is what it should look like. Now, let's bring it down a little bit. You want to bend him forward and then bend him up and bring out his front uh, hood of the vehicle. And if you see that sliding bar, you want to pull this out and make sure you pull it out all the way because it gives you the clearance you need to fold in the arms. Okay, then you could bring down this uh, piece holding the tires and then you could untab the tires, drop them down, and bring out the front part of the vehicle all the way. And also bring down Swindle's head. And now you could see these uh, two panel flaps here that form the top of his chest. They need to fold down and in. But if you see, uh, there are two tabs on the arms that are in the way. So what you need to do is lift this arm up 45 degrees so those tabs uh, get out of the way and then you could fold down these flaps like so. Okay, then what you want to do is now fold in these arms. So fold in the arm, drop it down and rotate it in and push it forward. Do the same thing on the other side, bring in the arm, rotate it down, and that's why you need to make sure you lift this up all the way because you won't get the clearance unless you do that. Then bring this forward and push it forward. And now we got that done. After you got the arms in, then you can rotate it around 180 and fold in Swindle's head. And now we can thumb down here, finger up here, close, push down that bar. And then we can drop this down and you could see the front part of the vehicle goes in, but you need to lift up this hood just enough to get the tabs to go in underneath. Once you do, line it up, then tab it in and give it a good squeeze to make sure it tabs in securely and now these front tires obviously they come up but you can see there's a circular tab there that needs to go in that circular slot but they don't line up that's why you need to rotate these tires so they properly line up once you got it lined up then you can tab that in and then on the top you could tab it in and here you could bring out this fender 45 degrees that goes in that little slot right there. Do the same on this side. Rotate the tires so they line up with that peg and then we can tab it in. And then on the top, tab that in. And then here, bring out the fender 45 degrees that goes in that slot. And then this front bumper piece, you want to lift it up but there is a center piece that you want to bring down and then you can lift it up all the way. And then the last thing, the window, you want to untab it and 
then lift it up, bring it over to the to back, and push it in, and then get it all lined up like so. This is the correct uh, position here where you get a little bit of the yellow showing. Not that way, this way. Okay, then bring this down and the steering wheel out. And then we could bring this up. And now we got the front part done. Now the hips, you want to rotate it 180 so they're facing the bottom of the vehicle. And now the legs, spread them out so you get an A stance. And then we could rotate these legs around 180. And now what we want to do is lift these uh, top pieces up, which is tabbed in there. There's a slot there. There's actually another tab in there. So just make sure you get everything untabbed and lift it up all the way. And then you could bring out these black pieces that fold the seats. Do the same on this side. You want to untab it and then lift it up all the way. Bring out these front black, black, bring out the black pieces that form the car seats. So you could see that's what you got. And now back here, you want to lift up these tires and that will allow you the space you need to lift this back piece up. But what you need to do is you need to untab it from right here and now you could see you could lift it up but it's a double hinge not this one but the one right there the back the top one lift it up all the way okay now do the same on this side you want to untab it and then lift it up on the top hinge right there and now this is what we got we got the front and the back opened up and now what we can do is we can bring, we can spread, bring out, spread it out of the A stance and then bring these out. What you want to do is, okay, bring down the foot, rotate the foot 180, and then drop down the foot, and then turn the foot in. So I'll do the same thing again. Uh, Bring down the foot, rotate the foot 180, bring down the foot. It's going back in here. And then we want to rotate the foot in. Okay. Now, the other piece here, you see that swivel there? You want to rotate this piece, the tire pieces, so they're out. And then we can bring this piece out, but it always keeps dropping out because it doesn't tab into anything. And when you bring it out, you want to slide it down on this bar, but it needs to tab in right here, you could see. So tab it in and you hear that nice snap, which from jewelry design, you learn that when you do that, uh, you lined everything up really nicely. Do the same thing. Rotate this out so the tires are out to the front. Bring this piece out, lift it up on that bar, and tab it in. And you hear that nice sound showing they did a really nice job there. Okay, so now just take a look so you get situated with where you're at. Front, back, opened up. Okay, now what we want to do is rotate this down 45 degrees. And I say 45 degrees because this top piece, what you want to do is bring it down and rotate it to the front. But in order to do that, you need the clearance. And you see the angle? This is how you can rotate it around to the front when you have it at an angle. Once you bring it over to the front, then you could lift this up all the way, like so. Do the same thing on this side. Rotate this down 45 degree angle so that you can bring this down and rotate.
rotate it to the front. Once you get it to the front, then you could bring this up all the way and you could see how this is starting to form the uh, vehicle here. Okay, now what you want to do here is fold in these uh, inner parts and you could see there's a tab right here let me see if I can show you here. Open up the leg. You could see the slot that it goes into. So what you want to do on this double hinge, lift it all the way up and until you tab it into that leg. And do the same on this side. You want to fold it up. Make sure that tab goes in. Um, kind of hard to do and make in looking at the camera and tab it in okay let's uh, just go ahead and straighten all this stuff back up okay and then we can tab together these um, inner part of the leg the tab there another tab there so line them up and tab it in okay and now there's a lot more tabs that we need to get tabbed in. So here, if you could see, there's a tab there, there's a slot there. So you want to make sure you line that up, tab it in, do the same thing on this side, get the tab lined up, tab it in. Okay, and these car seats always keep falling down. Okay, once we got all of that, then on the bottom, what we want to do is here bring this down to the back and fold this up. Okay, so here you want to push it to the back, fold it up. Now we have the bottom part formed. Now the last thing, the back part, there's a small little flap here that you need to bring out. And then you can fold this in. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a small tab in that little gap. So make sure you tab that in. Do the same on this side. Bring out this flap. Fold it in and tab that in. And then we can just re-tab the uh, two legs together. Give everything <laughs> a good careful squeeze together. And then the last thing now is uh, tabbing these in so you could see there's two tabs there but there's also a tab on the bottom see that circular tab and that slot in there so you have to make sure you get all three of these lined up uh, I'm trying to look at it and see the camera at the same time so you have to make sure that you get all three lined up and tab it in do the same thing on both sides it's kind of hard to see what i'm doing and looking at the camera at the same time and make sure and when you do that it kind of gets the other side on tab but once you get it all lined up tabbed in then you give it a good squeeze careful squeeze and now we got the vehicle mode all done okay now the last thing is attaching the accessories so here are the adapter piece you could see one side has a hole one side has a male part so what you want to do is have the male part on this side so to bring it in what you need to do is split these legs open just enough to be able to slide this in. Let's see, it's like so. Once you get it in, give it a good careful squeeze. And then we can attach the other accessories. You can see that slot. Tab that in. Let's see. Tab it, line it up. And then it's kind of hard doing when in the camera okay line it up tab it in 
and then this side, this one has the male part, and there's the female part there. So attach these two pieces together, and then you could just adjust this accordingly. And the last thing is the parts forming spare tire. So it goes uh, with the top piece up like so. And you can see the two tabs there, the two slots there. And make sure you line it up, tab it in, give it a good squeeze. And now that's it. Now we have Swindle in his alt mode.